We've got this vehicle running in the background. We've got a sniffer running here. Now, what we can do is that we can capture this traffic into a file. Can dump dash C dash L V can zero. So we're, we're sniffing on that interface. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to be able to grab that traffic and put it into a file. You can see it's creating this file right here. I'm going to go ahead and control C. Now what I can do is go more and let's take the name of this file and I can view it. There it is. In doing research, what I would want to do is I would want to go ahead now and discover the commands that are going to control, say, the doors or the ignition. And I can do that by executing, say, speed up the vehicle or slow down the vehicle or open the doors, close the doors. You know, by watching this traffic, I can determine what command is doing what. Once I know that, I can identify it. Say that I've gone ahead and, and determined that, um, I've determined that, say, command 116. Okay, 161, I think, is what it is on this particular simulator. Actually accelerates the vehicle. Let's go ahead and search for that command, see if there are any. So I'll do more, and then I'm going to go ahead and grep. And I'm going to grep for 161. The command to be able to uh, accelerate this vehicle is this one right here. And you know that just by research, right? Well, I've done it from, from research, exactly. I've done yeah, – it's, yeah. it's kind of a tedious process, right? What you got to do yeah. is you got to accelerate the vehicle, watch the traffic, <laughs> and, and keep on yeah. – so rather than doing that on screen, I've already done the work. So this is, this is the command and the data that will accelerate the vehicle. So what I can do then, okay, is go ahead and just send that command with can send. So basically, this is a replay attack. That's what it is. is I've just captured the data, and then I'm going to go can send. And then this is going to be over vcan0, 161. It's just going to be this command right here. So I could just copy and paste it, right? This right here. By tedious research of watching, you know, ex accelerating the vehicle, slowing it down, I'm able to identify what command accelerates the vehicle. Maybe it's, I, I'm looking for what opens the doors. Opening the door is not as, you know, it's not going to be interesting because we're already inside the vehicle. What we want to do is to, you know, is to be able to speed it up, slow it down, what have you. And maybe, you know, you can do this remotely as well. So let's go ahead and send it on that network. So what we've done is gone ahead and sent a accelerate command into the network to speed up the vehicle. So that's kind of what automobile hacking research is like. It's kind of a tedious process. Once again, we don't have to authenticate ourselves. There's no encryption going on. Once we're inside and connected to the network of the vehicle, we can actually, you know, get inside and view all of the traffic. Think of this as like a wire shark inside the network of the vehicle.